Decal Machine 2 will support two Blender versions going forward. First Blender 2.83 LTS, the last of which is 2.83.5. The stable release of Blender 2.90 is also supported. And once Blender 2.91 becomes stable, then this one will be supported. So you should run either the latest LTS release, or the latest stable release. Either one will be a good choice. Experimental releases of Blender have a tendency to break add-ons, and so fixing these breaks won't be a high priority until the release becomes stable. Decal Machine will run the same on all Blender-supported operating systems, so Windows, macOS and Linux. If you use macOS or Arch Linux or similar rolling release distributions, please take a moment to read this. Now, there are different scenarios, and they require different approaches to installing Decal Machine. The easiest is the fresh installation, meaning you don't have a prior version of Decal Machine installed already. And so to do a fresh installation, bring up Blender's preferences. Go to the Add-ons tab, and make sure your settings resemble the default ones here. Definitely avoid having this enabled. And ensure Decal Machine can indeed not been found among the installed add-ons. Then navigate to your downloaded Decal Machine 2-zip file, and install it. It may take a few seconds before it appears here. Activate it when it does. You can now skip forward to part 3 of the video, if you have chosen this installation method. But if you have an older version of Decal Machine already pre-installed, you need to choose one of the two following installation approaches. You can either install in Blender, or you can do it manually in the file browser. But before you proceed, you should back up any decals you may have created in the previous version of Decal Machine. If your decals are already stored in an external location, then you can skip this though. If however, your old custom decals are stored in the Decal Machine folder in Blender's add-ons directory, which is default behavior, you should back up them now. To do so, shift-click on this folder icon, which will open the assets location in your file browser. Take this decals folder, and copy it somewhere safe. Now, if you want to use the Blender approach, you have to first uninstall this old version of Decal Machine. This has the disadvantage, that you will lose any Decal Machine related preferences you have set. They will be reset to their default values. The correct way to uninstall Decal Machine, is to first deactivate it. Absolutely do not use the Remove button just yet. Instead deactivate, then ensure the preferences are saved, and restart Blender. Once restarted, go to the add-on preferences again, and remove decal machine. You can now just install decal machine 2 from the zip file, then activate it. If this is how you choose to install, then you can skip forward to part 3 now. If you prefer to do the installation from the file browser instead, you can do that too. This has the advantage, that any decal machine preferences you have set in the previous version, are kept. With Blender closed, first navigate to Blender's add-ons directory and remove the decal machine folder. Then extract the downloaded decal machine 2-zip file and copy the decal machine folder from the zip, to the Blender add-on directory. Then start Blender again, and decal machine 2, is good to go. You can verify this by taking a look at the system console. And of course in the add-on preferences too. If this worked for you, then you can skip forward to part 3 now. If however, your previous Blender version had its decals stored externally, so not in the decal machine folder itself, then you will need an additional step to finish the installation. Decal machine won't be able to find compatible decals in your old decal location, so the terminal will look like this. 
and the add-on preferences like so. What you need to do now, is reset the assets path. Ignore the error that pops up. The path was reset properly, but due to the startup error, decal machine couldn't re-register the new decals properly. Now, this is important, make sure to save your preferences, even if they are set to auto-save. Then restart Blender, and the installation will be completed. This is completely optional, but I recommend moving the assets of decal machine to some external location. This prevents accidental loss of decals trim sheets or atlases when you update or remove decal machine in future. To change the assets location, click on the folder icon and navigate to your desired location for decal machine assets. If you have done the same in a previous version of decal machine, I suggest using a different location now as the folder structure has changed a bit. This will prevent mix-ups. If you now investigate the new location by shift clicking on the folder icon, you can see how all the existing decals, trim sheets and atlases have been copied over. And if you now bring a decal into the scene, and check the texture paths, you can see how the external location we've just set, is indeed used. Furthermore, the suggestion to move the assets in the add-on preferences, has now been hidden. If you intend to use any of the more advanced features in decal machine, like decal and trim sheet creation, or atlasing and baking, you will need PIL. PIL is a Python module for image manipulation. To install it go to the decal creation and export tab. If you have installed PIL in a previous version of decal machine, then it will most likely still be installed. The green check mark will be shown already, and you don't have to do anything. Otherwise, click the installation button at the top, while having an active internet connection. The buttons at the bottom are rarely necessary fallback approaches, and require admin privileges. The system console will show you exactly, what has happened. And with the installation successful, the green check mark will be displayed. If you don't have an internet connection, and need to install PIL, read this. If you have created decals in previous versions of decal machine, then you need to update them to be able to use them in version 2. That's because decal machine introduces various new features, for which the decal materials and textures have changed. To update your old decals, go to the sidebar in the 3D view, open the machine tab, and enable the update panel. There is a dedicated section with videos in the documentation about this, and I highly recommend you check that out. And if you want to learn more about the decal machine preferences, you should continue with the video on that topic. If you require product support, go to the help panel and use the get support button. Your file browser will open, and contained you will find two files that I will need to see. The pill log file, and the system info text file. Support is done exclusively via email, so send me both of those files. There are additional instructions in the README HTML file, which you can open in your web browser. In most cases, I tend to respond rather quickly. If you haven't heard back from me after three days, definitely check if my reply landed in your spam folder. With the installation complete, it's a good idea to check out some of the example files that Decal Machine supplies. You can access these from the help panel. Here you can see the new decal material features introduced in version 2. And these decals here, were joined to a single one using the new join tool.
One of the major new additions in Decal Machine 2 is trim sheet support, and you can see that in action here. There are no decals used on this gate, all the detail is achieved via trims on the mesh level. Which means you could export this to every engine out there. No special decal shaders are required. Finally, if you want to start using decals or trims yourself, I suggest you proceed to the section in the documentation on the Pi menu, which is Decal Machine's main interface.